guys it's maggie welcome back to another vlog today is a rainy sunday in boston it's like i don't think it's rained this hard in a really long time like i can't remember the last time it downpoured like it has been doing today it's crazy it's really nice because it's sunday so it's nice to have like a rainy relaxing sunday and i just thought i would do like a little sunday vlog and bring you guys along i just opened up a big package which i'm really excited about because i got a lot of summer pieces from abercrombie and abercrombie has had a comeback over the past couple of years and i know so many people have been loving their clothes and a lot of like their jeans and stuff has gone viral but i picked up some pieces from their new summer collection and i'm really excited because i'm going on a little trip for emma's birthday next weekend so i'm gonna be packing all the pieces <laughs> that i got and i'm really excited so i'm going to try them on for you guys and show you how they fit and how i style them and stuff but this is the first piece this sweater right here which i love i got it in a size medium it's just a really nice crochet sweater and i love how it's like a scoop neck i really don't like when sweaters are like too high on the neck i just feel like they're a little bit restrictive this is super lightweight like perfect for summer because you can wear it over a bikini or you can wear it at nighttime as well like it's just like very lightweight and then obviously breathable since it has like the crochet has like holes in it you know and then i got this t-shirt which looks like it's gonna fit so well see how the sides of it kind of go in like this size small just a little heather gray t-shirt perfect to wear with jeans and a belt and do like a more casual look or you could even throw this over like your workout clothes when you're heading out to a workout in the morning just a really nice basic to have and then i also got this top which is so cute it's like a taupe tube top again that hourglass fit i think is so flattering i love the detailing also how it's like rouged on the sides super cute got this in a size small and then this top right here i love i love like a little fun graphic tee throw on with some biker shorts even like a denim skirt and some sneakers or loafers this one says new york the racket club mixed double classic 1998 upper east side new york super cute i got a size small and it is a little bit like oversized so i'm glad i didn't get a bigger size than this because it does run really big and then i got, also got this white tank top love the detailing on this how it's like ruched on the sides also this is double lined so you're not going to be able to see through it also i think that this type of top when it's double lined you can go without wearing a bra or anything you will need to wear one because like obviously you can't really see through it that much since it's so thick and then i got a silk maxi skirt size small i love this i love wearing little skirts like this with just like a plain simple tank top and a pair of sneakers and like sunglasses it's just the most effortless outfit for the summer and you still look really cute and i got this one also it's black it looked navy for a sec but it's black and it's more of a like little ruffled skirt i got this in a size small as well i know that these skirts come in actually a bunch of different colors i just decided to get black because i have a lot of like white long skirts i didn't have any black so i was like i need to pick up a few black ones because i feel like they look really nice with like white top and a pair of like sambas or something or even like loafers and little socks and then i also got this little slip dress for sleeping just lightweight silk black ruffle navy blue super cute got this in a size small as well and i will link all these items down below if you guys want to shop any of the pieces hello sleepy head <laughs> hi baby hi, Mama. hi guys it's been like a while since i started off the vlog i've been doing so much work on my computer all day just like up loading videos updating my shop my ordered a ton of stuff off amazon for my new office and like i've been so busy sitting at my computer for like the past few hours but i have a lot of exciting stuff coming like i'm redoing my office the office that i'm in right now i have two like extra rooms at my house there's a room right here 
that's next to the laundry room across the hall and which is the guest room and then there's this room which is like my office room i guess like i my computer's in here and i use it to work and stuff like that but i just have clothes everywhere like it's a little mess i still have my suitcase from the cape which i need to like clean out today and do something about that because i can't just like let it sit there any longer mac did laundry like the second we got home and i didn't have any laundry to do because i did it like all at the house on the cape and all the clothes are clean i just need to like go and put them away but i haven't done that yet and i am switching my office and the room that we are in right now this is going to be the guest bedroom and then the room across the hall is going to be my new office because it just gets so much more light during the day and i feel like i don't know the vibes are just different this room's a little bit darker and i just think that it's perfect for when people stay over and they're sleeping because this room is a lot darker than that room that room is like super bright all day long gets like all the sun so i'm gonna move my office over there which i'm really excited about so i just sat on amazon and i ordered so much stuff i ordered some stuff for travel i ordered stuff for the office i ordered decor like little trays i got a tray for the bathroom upstairs i'll show you guys all this everything when it comes in i'll do like a big haul in a vlog and i got a new candle a shoe rack for the closet right when you walk in the house some coconut water more stuff for the office but i did like my huge amazon order and i'm really excited for everything to come in because i haven't really talked about it anywhere before i talked about it a little bit in the, on the podcast but i was like trying to figure out if i wanted to stay in this house for another year or if i wanted to move somewhere else i just didn't know what to do and there are a few places that i looked at that i was like i really like them like i could see us moving there and living there but then honestly it's just like pointless to pack up the whole entire house and move to a different house still in boston and still in this area i just feel like honestly it's like a waste of money <laughs> because i'm just so used to moving after my lease is up every single year i like trying out new things i like experiencing like a new area a new neighborhood and with this house i just feel like we have like settled in so much and there just would be honestly i feel like it's just too much to move and also moving is really expensive and when you sign for a new place you're also you're paying first month last month or yeah first last security broker fee so that's like four months of the rent and i'm like you know what i don't want to have to repay all of that and we were just like talking about moving and how expensive it is and there's just like a lot that obviously goes into it and then you're paying for the movers and you're paying all like the fees and stuff and we were just like you know what not worth it let's stay in the house that we're at because i really love it and i mean we have no complaints so we're staying and we're re-signing the lease so now that we are re-signing the lease i'm like you know what it's time to like get things organized and get like the office redone and stuff like that since we do have over a year of being here more so that's what we're gonna do but i'm really excited to show you guys the office and i ordered my desk i ordered a rug i ordered um these like linen cork boards for the wall today i just was like on an ordering spree and i ordered all that amazon stuff so I'm excited to like get my office all organized and set up because I did get also a new desktop computer which I'm on right now and it's been so nice to be able to like sit at a computer and get all my work done and just like have a place where I can shut the door and I can like really get stuff done. I have been using my laptop so much less. I honestly love my laptop for travel and like work when I'm on the go but I just feel like I don't get as much done when i'm on my laptop 
so it's gonna be really nice to have like a brand new office brand new space i have a lot of stuff that i'm working on for work so i'm just very excited about that setting up a little spot in the bathroom outside the laundry room because i don't have anywhere to dry like my workout clothes and the clothes that i don't want to put into the dryer so i literally just take them and i hang them over the glass you guys can probably see this right now it's wet because i just had a sweatshirt right there i got a shower rod off amazon and then i got a pack of 20 of just white plastic hangers and i'm gonna set up the shower rod across like this and then put the hangers on it so when i wash all my workout clothes and all the clothes I want to hang to dry I can just like hang them up on the hangers and they get all <laughs> dry in here because we don't use this bathroom unless we have guests over and if we do have a guest and they want to shower we can just obviously take down the rod and take these down but it makes it easy to dry your clothes if you don't want to put them in the dryer so that's what I'm going to do right now I also feel like they also have those drying racks, like the big ones, but I don't like those because I feel like, I don't know. I feel like they don't fit a lot. So this is our alternative. Okay, you guys, this literally worked so well. And I have my one sweatshirt that I wash. I'm about to do a load of like workout clothes. But one thing that I've been doing because sweatshirts, like the one I'm wearing right now and this one that I washed today, like fuzzy sweatshirts they like when you get them brand new you know how they're like fuzzy on the inside and then you wash them a few times they don't get fuzzy anymore one of you guys commented on my vlog and said to wash them inside out and hang them to dry and i've been doing that and i swear it has kept my sweatshirts brand new so yeah then i'm just gonna hang all my clothes up in the shower like this and then they're all gonna be dry and stay in really good condition because the dryer does mess up your clothes a lot and I have so many things that I wish I never started putting in the dryer but it's okay because I'm gonna start now and this idea I actually got from my mom I can't take credit for this my mom used to do this in my house growing up in our guest bath that nobody used she like created this little pole and then put hangers and she would hang all of our like lululemon and yoga clothes because you're not supposed to dry it so if you are looking for a way to dry your clothes and you have a spare bathroom in your house i highly recommend doing this little trick got my dinner <laughs> I ordered this on uber eats like <sighs> over an hour and a half ago when it finally just came I think that everything is super slow because of the amount of rain that we have but I got some yellow curry this is just white rice I'm gonna put this at the bottom it's not that warm but it's fine and then we have yellow curry with vegetables I haven't had curry or Thai food in so long and I'm so excited to eat this tonight looks so good and smells so good I feel like this is like the perfect thing to eat when it's like a cold rainy night
Hey guys, good morning. I literally was supposed to vlog my skincare routine in the rest of the night. Well, after I did the sauna, I literally just took a shower, did my skincare, and then watch YouTube in bed. But I didn't know where my vlog camera was, and then I realized I left it outside of the sauna in the basement. So I just got it, obviously. Um, we went to the farmer's market this morning, and we just got back. So I just want to give you guys a little farmer's market haul because we've been loving going every single Monday. And this is what we got this week. I sent Mac out <laughs> to get everything because I'm still wearing the shirt that I slept in. I kind of just made coffee and we headed out the door. Mac wanted to go and get a coffee this morning, but I like to make my coffee at home. So I made us protein smoothies and then made my coffee and took it to go in the car. I haven't even like showered or done skincare or anything, but I'm gonna get ready because we are gonna go back out in a little bit and go to the butcher and all of that. So I'm gonna start off another vlog because this was like a Sunday vlog. But I got these, well, Mac picked out everything out, but I gave him a little list of what to get. We have these two beautiful tomatoes, red onion, two summer squash, cucumber, lettuce. The lettuce is my favorite. I'm gonna wash it and put it in a bowl with ice water and let it sit. I get so many questions about why I do that. And it's so the lettuce gets like all crisped up and it's so delicious and we've been loving making like a big salad at night and then putting protein, like pairing it with a protein on top. We've been doing a lot of like local grass fed steak. We like to do fish, we kind of switch it up. So big salad tonight. I'm gonna be vlogging it in the next video. These blueberries right here, that looks so good. And then he also got this right here, which is, I don't, I'm like blanking on the name of this type of lettuce. Um, but I think that this would be super good to do because it is like the thick I know that they make wraps on this. I forget the name, but anyway I'm excited to use those because I normally don't get this at the store and then also I have all these bananas that I need to put in the freezer because obviously they're very ripe and spotted which I like because it makes them sweet when your bananas are like this it's good for baking and I think smoothies are the best when they're like this because it adds like a sweetness So these are perfect. I'm gonna put these in the freezer in a second and don't mind how much of a mess this area is I woke up to a ton of packages that got delivered this morning. So ignore all of that Also, these wine bottles are the cutest Love you bunches. I want to do something with these like use them to decorate somehow maybe put flowers in them I just don't know where to put them yet or what to do but if you have any ideas or inspiration, let me know. And then some of the stuff I ordered off Amazon yesterday already got delivered. Like we have this wooden tray and then this one right here, which you guys will see how I style them in the next vlog. But I want to show you guys how I redid the like dining room area of the house. I brought this table up, which was in the basement. It's just a concrete table from Restoration Hardware. And then we have the bar cart, which is from Pottery Barn. I get so many questions about this bar cart always. And the glasses on top, these are from Estelle, the green glasses, I love them. And I used this old candle by Diptyque to put all of my corks in and then just like stuff to make drinks. This tray is so cute. Marcus got me that when he was studying abroad, when he was in France. And then we have all the alcohol on the bottom and then I just did another dip tea candle. This is actually a can opener, this little oyster, two books, this new little stone thing with some sage from Olive Atelier, and then we have the lanterns, which I've had for a while now, and then obviously the dining table, which is a mess, but yeah, this is the little setup we have going right now. And that is all that I have for you guys today. I'm gonna end off this video, but stay tuned for my next vlog. I need to like go shower and get ready and brush my hair and do my skincare. But I love you guys so much. Make sure you're subscribed to my channel if you're not already. Follow me on Instagram. I always have a link down below and I have so many fun vlogs coming, a lot of traveling. We're going to the Cape for Emma's birthday 
and staying at a really beautiful hotel and then we're going to portland oregon in a few weeks which that's going to be so fun i've never been there before but we're going to be like on the lake and all back together again so it's going to be really fun really exciting so you definitely don't want to miss out on all the vlogs and i will see you guys in my next video bye